Hey everybody, welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. I hope you're having a great day today as our, our citizens have learned the ability to fly. <laughs> uh, no, it looked like they were kind of walking up to the heavens there and learning to fly, but actually they're just working at this. And uh, they're walking up the stairs while they're working at this uh, construction site here. Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to focus on the designs and the plans to get this place completely operational because I think it's a really important thing for us to get to in order to be able to focus on other parts of our Republic in order to be able to work on, for example, expanding our population beyond the 17,000 that I'm kind of willingly capping us at at the moment um, and uh, to get more workers and all that stuff. So uh, Zernowski, right? We want to we wanna get to my old small town area over there. And I would like to start maybe eking out here towards Charlemagne's North because uh, this area here, especially with the uh, big towers here, for example, they are going to be very important in getting people over here to work, right? To make steel. And eventually making all the advanced stuff that we need to electrify our rail line, which is an ever-expanding project, our rail line. Uh, so, today... Here's what we have planned. And I think you're going to like it, okay? Before we get started, though, there's a couple of weaknesses in this design that I am currently building. I want to make sure we are uh, looking at those because I know that a lot of people, are, you gotta, a lot of you guys are going to start pointing them out, and I want to make sure you guys are aware that I'm aware of them and that I'm actively working on them. Like I'm clicking like little things right now, all right, just to make sure that the helicopters are getting on it, all right? So I wanted to show you guys these things. Okay. The first thing is sewage. Obviously, this place over here does not have a sewage system yet. And so we need to make sure that we are getting people over to uh, the various different locations that we're going to need for this. Let me just make sure that this has a walking path connection. I want to interrupt that that light post, but it may. It does so anyway. It does so anyway. It does. There's no, there's no way to avoid it. So we're just going to take out one. There we go. Uh, we want to make sure that we get workers on these sites. And I'm actually going to get Charlebinsk labor involved here and, and their construction offices and stuff involved here too because I really want to get this stuff going. It needs to happen. It's not happening nearly fast enough and it needs to just be here, okay? Uh, so we need to get all these construction offices and stuff to come out here. Now, whether they're actually going to be able to get out here in time or not is a whole other matter entirely because, like, they're going to get picked up and then what, right? I don't know. I don't know. Um, we're going to take and create because I probably will have to break some things down uh, very soon in this area. So I'm going to create two uh, demolition offices too. I'm thinking I'm going to sit one. I think I'm going to sit one right here for now. Should be an okay spot for one. And then we'll add another one if we need it. And I'm also noticing that I don't have any power routed this way. And I really would like to get that done too. So how about we grab... One of these, like, one, two, zeros should be sufficient enough. We're going to have you maybe come out behind coal. Uh, sorry, that's iron. Come out behind iron. Yeah, and then straight out this way from there is... Uh, ooh, that's kind of... It's going to kind of get in the way of where I'm looking to go here. All right, I'll compromise. We're going to come out and we're going to follow the road. It's my compromise for this. Follow the road down to here. And then we'll have you come along. I think like right along the road would be better. There we go. Right along the road to this point. And then over to like this and then to here. That'll give us at least some power into this area, which would be really nice. Demolition office. Here's what we're going to need. Workers. I'm going to have you grab it from this spot. Although I don't know if that'll be enough, but I'm going to have you grab it from that spot. Well, we're not going to bother with explosives because you're not going to use them. Uh, construction waste, unfortunately. Like all this stuff is not... I am not set up right now for anything related to deconstructing out away from the city yet. So uh, this is going to be very inefficient if we have to do it. So we'll try to limit how much we have to do as much as possible. Uh, but I'm not going to be able to avoid it. Uh, hazardous waste. We'll have you drop it there. Mixed waste. We're going to drop it here. Uh, now, I also have a plan for the mixed waste over here as well. And there needs to be a train. Uh, it is tied up with the track builder. Of course it is. There we go. Uh, there needs to be a... There's a train station that's coming through here right now, right? And the, the train comes in here. What I want to do here is redesign this, all right? And I probably have to do a little bit more work to redesign, but 
I'd like to start the redesign process. So we're going to have this area here taken out by demolition offices. Okay. Uh, when this is empty, which it will be soon, the train is on its way back to pick it up. When this is emptied, we'll tear this stuff out too. Uh, I got a comment and uh, it, it kind of piqued my interest in it. Although I don't think I'm actually going to end up doing it, but it's possible that we do it at least to the extent that where we can get the waste in a more convenient location. Um, I, I don't know this yet, but somebody brought up the uh, possibility of using cableways and you know, we're, we're a big fan of cableways here to get this waste out of here. I wasn't sure that the waste cars was compatible. But if I look in here and I go over to cargo cars, I see the heavy car, the cargo car, the aggregate car, and then there is a garbage car. And I totally missed the fact that a garbage car exists. So yeah, you can haul waste out of here on cableways, which could be really convenient. So what I'm thinking is, it's possible we can create a cableway exit for this that allows us to take the take it out maybe over here or something and just like pick it up over here so it's way more space and it you know it's, the train can then take it away from there or something right to take the cableway waste to have that go all the way over here is just not feasible it's just not going to happen there's so much electrical in the way between here and there and to go around that electrical is incredibly expensive. You got to go up, up on top of the hill here, over top of these. It's not going to happen. And even if we somehow did manage to make it happen by going some really weird wide route, it's going to use so much electricity to haul garbage. It's just not going to be worth it. But if I can get it out of this area, this tightly fit area, and bring it into somewhere else that's more convenient, like over here, that's doable. You know, I think that's, that might be doable. So I, I kind of like to experiment with this, um, you know, see if it's possible. Uh, so we're going to tell this to go to the incinerator now. And now that these two places are empty, I'm going to go ahead and have you go back to the claw machine, the dump, whatever. Uh, and then we're just going to have this uh, eliminated. So there we go. We're going to get rid of that connection and we're going to get rid of this connection. And we're going to try to redo this area uh, as best as we can. Okay. So let's just make sure that uh, Cernikova is going to help us with demolishing in this area. There we go. Uh, they should be able to handle this. All the auto searches and stuff are doing it. They're, they're already on site. See, there you go. They're already tearing it apart. Okay. We'll take a look at that later. I have expanded fields a little bit. I've added these six large fields on this side and these four large fields on this side. Going to be able to get more crops. But it's currently not enough because we're out of crops here. It's April. 600 crops left in my reserve it's not enough so this office has been instructed now to go to the border and to load up from the border on crops it is has been construct instructed to keep the uh area here unload whatever to i guess 70 percent 80 percent whatever it's gonna keep stuff in here so we're gonna see that stuff happening what i don't want to do though is to load any steel from the border i don't want to buy any more steel really any construction materials in all so currently we're only buying electronics electrical components mechanical components and meat and that's it and so this mixed train here uh actually it looks like it's just gonna do oh it's just going to prefabs over here to bring it over here that's no big deal okay well we sh will actually have the trains now going and getting us crops for the time being because i don't have enough yet clearly we don't have enough for seventeen thousand people <laughs> okay so, progress report on this, right? Obviously, we have water working. That's good. But with the sewage tanks overflowing, that's not so good. So, we're going to have... Obviously, the sewage system has already started over here. At least, this is my, my end points. And just for the sake of flexibility in the future, I don't know if I'm going to need it, but it's not really that much extra cash. Um, I went ahead and added a second switch. So, there's a switch here and a switch here. There's big pipes from here to here and from here to here. So, I have just, like, extra connection points in here later on just in case i need it we're gonna take a medium sewage pipe from this side since this side covers steel and it will also cover a good portion of the industry in here we're gonna have this be a medium that goes into this connection point right here and it should be able to fit should be able to fit very straightforwardly not entirely sure why it isn't 
Only thing I can think of is it's just a little weird angle with that water pipe, so that'll work there. Uh, and then on this side, there's like 200 people potentially working here. 150 or so, 200 people working here. Seven-ish. It's not as busy, is what I'm saying. I think we could probably get by with this one, and there's really not a whole lot of expansion happening over here either. But I think with this one, we can get by with a small pipe. And so we're going to get a small sewage pipe that comes out to... Uh, looks like I have to dip it lower because it's going downhill, so it's going to end up sticking out of the ground. Uh, and then we'll pop it in right over here like this. All right, so that's going to be what we do for sewage over on this side. And we're going to say that the construction offices from Charlevinsk are going to be assisting us in uh, building all of these things. And the helicopters, everybody, right? And I want Charlevinsk labor to come over here too because the labor off the train station doesn't go to construction sites if they're not buildings. So you can see there's 20 extra workers that are going to stay on this train. That's contributing to our uh bad employment rate too okay so we need these sewage tanks to be completed um so that we can get back to work and they're gonna happen really quickly this counts as a building so people will come in here and do this but they won't work on the pipes from what i from what i've seen and what i understand they're not gonna work on the pipes. so i always have to get charlevin's labor to come out here and do this um thankfully it's not that far they don't time out to get here probably because this is a gravel road now uh if it was still a dirt road, they totally would. Okay, the other problem in this area is garbage. So I've had two big uh, industrial yard stands here to handle garbage from both the steel mill and from this. Uh, they're in range with things. This is very close to being done, but I have I've paused the construction because I don't want it to become a fire potential or a fire target, right? More buildings in an area, more likely there is necessarily uh, or potentially to be fires. So... For the time being, I'm going to just pause this with only labor uh, ready to go. Same thing with these buildings here. They are completely paused. We are not going to be finishing them because, again, fire risk. Until I have a functional fire department, I'm not going to let them finish. Once I have the fire department done, then absolutely. You feel free to build and go in here and work and all that stuff, but not yet. Um, the heating is almost done. We've got this here, and then there's this little bit here that has to be done. So we're getting very close to having all this stuff done here, too. Uh, and then the police station, I don't think he's even started yet. Yeah, we still have to do something with the police station here, too. Let's make sure that's even... That's not even marked, so let's make sure we're marking that. Yeah, uh, local construction offices should have all this stuff on their, their radar, too. Uh-huh. And then this right here needs to be done. Uh-huh. And then this right here, these little sections here. All of these things are going to need workers, so we're going to bring workers out to those points, too. Okay, and then workers are needed uh, for this area, too. Yeah, for all of this. Okay, so garbage. We've got these two buildings covered. That's great. We're going to need a little bit here for the fire department and for the water because stuff's going to start getting overflowing here too. Sewage is going to start overflowing. Mixed waste. We, we have the capacity to, to get rid of it, but we're not yet. Uh, so we're just going to get a little garbage stand. We go in right next to this. Should be right here. Should be fine. Right like that. There we go and put that like this that should cover this building it may not cover the fire department i'm i'm worried about that because i think this is really tight however i may be able to get it coverage uh get coverage by putting one over here so if i put this like that can i get waste coverage around the back side it looks like i can 10, 98 meters away. Yep. So I'm going to have garbage for the fire department be there. Okay. And then garbage for the police station on this side is just going to stick in right here. It's real easy to do. Pop it right there. A little extra garbage for these guys too. For over here, industrial waste sounds like a good idea because there's a lot of people working here. So we're going to need that to scale up. We have this walking path here that's actually in my way. So I'm just going to remove that really quick. And there we go. And then just stick that right there. No problem. And then in here, I can place industrial garbage. I call it industrial garbage. But really, I'm just meaning it's a big stand for big containers. And it has a road connection. Because it's meant to hold a lot of trash. And I don't have a free excavator anymore. That's crazy. Let's talk about this over here. What we have going on here is mechanical components is coming out of this building. 
and it has direct access to steel. There is a design oversight that happened here that is unfortunate, but I think we can work around it because it's not that far away. And that design oversight is that mechanical components is not the only thing that needs direct access to steel. I thought it was, it's not. Uh, just slipped my mind. But electrical components actually need direct access to steel as well. I, for some reason, my brain told me that electrical components was using the mechanical components and plastics. I don't know why it did that, but it did. So my brain does fantastical things sometimes. With this being done, with electrical components factories, it's not going to be able to directly access steel, which means forklifts can't bring it in there, etc. We're going to have to do it with trucks. Now, thankfully, we do have the other version of the road depot right here, and we're going to have plenty of steel right here. And so what I'm going to end up having is just a dedicated truck that brings it from this point and just brings it right across down here and drops it into a storage. And that will hook it up to everything else. But it gets better. At least I do. At least I think it. I think it gets better. Okay. Because what we're going to end up doing here, I'm going to get, get rid of this road for a bit. Uh, let's just make it, get rid of it up to, let's say here for now. Okay. We're going to drop this road for a second. All right. What we're going to do here, I think is going to look pretty sweet. We have to solve two main problems in this area. The first is we're going to need to bring in plastic and we're not actually creating plastic here. Uh, we need to create plastic r relatively close to where we're creating chemicals. The second thing is we need to deal with the waste because we can collect waste on all these stands and we can have garbage trucks, which I should probably just do that now before I forget. Where is my technical service office. We're going to place this right here. Right here. Hey, yeah, my excavators are back. Cool. At least one of them is. There we go. We're going to place it right there. Okay. And let's get this to actually be a pretty big priority because we need to get we need to get that moving. All right. So we collect garbage from all of these locations. We need to dump it somewhere. We need to bring it somewhere. Okay. Where's the garbage going to go? How are we going to get it out of here? Because at the moment, it's just going to, we're just going to drop it in a dump and it's going to store up and stock up. Sure. That will work out great, right? <laughs> Probably not. One idea is to allow this rail that where a passenger trains go to deviate out like this and to pick it up here with a train. Tempted by this idea. I am. Um, but instead, I, we're going to have another technical service over here that's going to do the same thing with garbage. Uh, tempted by this idea, there's a little bit of traffic here, and I think the rail can make its way out this way pretty easily, right? So we could go in 150 or so uh, meters in, for example, uh, from here to, let's say, right there is 150 or so, right? So uh, from here-ish, we could d take this track and just bring it out this way. Wouldn't be too hard to do kind of a sharp turn, but we could make it happen, right? Out like that. And then this side again does the same thing out like that. Okay. And then from in here, because it's, you know, in the long train or whatever, from in here, we just go in with our dump with the rail connection. And uh, it doesn't really matter what side. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Although if we had the road on the opposite side, it means that the car's but the trucks would never have to wait for the train, which is a pretty good thing. So we could go in and do something like this. All right. Quick measurement here. So I'm going to want the signals to not interrupt the road. So it's going to have to start from here. From here. And then this needs to be long enough, of course, to not interfere with the crossing that's inevitably going to be needed in this area, too. Okay, okay, you. Let's hold on a minute here. Let's start like this. We'll bring you over like that, okay? And then you're going to be out like that. So that's 205. I think we're probably pretty good here. My 150 mark is right there. And then from this side, if I, if I know my 150 mark is there, I can bring this out to about that 150 mark just so I know where it is, okay? And then on this side, I also need that clearance, that 155 clearance. So right about from here out 
there's my 150 so that works the crossing could go right here and it's perfectly spaced out i would probably want to bring this over just a little bit more just to be sure i have the space it wouldn't be such a big deal so um we'll go out just a little bit more maybe two here would be okay this gives me a good amount of room and i could just put that there and then we have the uh the road that just connects to it well i thought it would connect to it but maybe it doesn't hi what's wrong oh it's the walking path that's how mature <laughs> okay bring you in uh, actually it's the uh, electrical lines as well i actually think it may be the electrical electrical lines more than it's yeah it's the electrical more than it is the walking path how mature anyway like that there we go that's what i wanted to see and then you just go like that okay let's bring our electrical lines back from here to here and then into there okay there we go all right this gives me everything i need to make this work so we're going to bring this this way that's fine and then we split like that and well okay split like that and then we split out like like that okay and then somewhere in here we need to have that crossing so let's just real quick measure this once more from here out to here and we have more than enough room this is already okay perfect so we're just gonna say that our crossing is like this and like this it can be a wood one honestly it really doesn't need to be a steel track every single time right like we can do wooden tracks it's not against the law or anything like so all right a little track right there a little crossing right there right and just like that we've got ourselves a waste solution right piece of cake that's what i wanted i wanted trains to be able to pick up waste from here and transport it along the rail network to get it into here to drop it off in here right and then we process it so that was the whole point now you see what's coming together here hopefully you can start kind of see what's coming together here and as long as we're using the train distribution office we won't overload the tracks because we have all the signals are properly spaced out to where trains will never land in the intersections except for the crop train which will be longer than 155 uh but that's on a completely separate track right it has its own thing and the another reason for that to be is that i don't ever want to have a situation where you know the signal's red and the crop train is waiting and you know maybe i screwed something up or there's a something happens right and the tra crop train's waiting and people are now starving because whoops i missed it right i don't want that to happen there we go see everybody's everything's working the way it should over here everyone's waiting this thing's going to go unload 400,000 rubles worth of fuel. This thing's going to unload 150,000 worth of food. That's actually nuts. Why did you pick up that much? Hold on. Don't do that. Let me see. Unload storage percent 40. Let's bump that up to 60. Thank you. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> that's our waste solution, right? So the garbage trucks will be picking up waste and bringing it over there. Uh, I could probably lay in some gravel roads. This should be a gravel road. Let's make this a gravel road. You don't need to be a gravel road. I don't even know why you're a road in the first place. This is a temporary gas station that's no longer necessary. That can go as well. There we go. This is all one project now, hopefully. Well, three projects, I guess, but fine. Make sure that that is marked as something that you should be doing yep like that and then uh we'll have this road we got that done and then they will start working on this road as well and that gives you a nice clear path to drop off your waste and get back to the office right easy uh eventually there will also be a bridge that takes over this because we currently don't have a way to get in here right none of this stuff is accessible right now because i just cut that dirt road so as we start to build these industry buildings we will find a clear place where forklifts are going under and we will make our bridge our road bridge over so that everybody can get over there okay now let's talk about this area a little bit because i got an interesting idea on how we can make this work we need two things in here we need to be able to bring in raw resources like i said earlier bringing in plastics but we also need to be able to ship things out of here we need to be able to say for example move the mechanical components 
to Charlemensk or to Cernikova or wherever we're going to be, right? All around the Republic. So we need access to that resource that's being created in this area, like electronics and electrical components. And then we also need to be able to ship plastic into here, which means we need rails. What I'm going at is we need rail here. We also, since we're making mechanical components and electrical components, ha, huh, wouldn't you know it, we're going to want access to a uh, helicopter construction office to have these things too, okay? So, interesting thing to do here. We're going to use a really big warehouse because it has a high capacity, but not just that. We're also going to use a really big warehouse because it also gives us the ability to hook up to this building and hook up to a lot of other places for the forklifts and hook up to uh, uh, over here where we're going to have a cargo train station situated right over here. Uh, now, important to note where this is located. We're going to have to come off of this intersection. We want this intersection to be one intersection. It all counts as a single intersection, right? That was the goal. And that's what we're going to want to do. I'm not entirely sure I need my signals here. I think I might be okay. I think I might be okay with blocking this road. In fact, I may not even have a road here in the first place. So I may want to move my signals up here to make it shorter. But since I have the room, we're going to have this rail come out this way, okay? Uh, and then we can get a quick measurement here just to kind of see what kind of space I'm working with here. So let's assume we go here. Uh, let's assume we have the, the signals will end up being like, say, right here. So we're going to want this train station to be uh, at least about here. This gives us that 150 that I'm looking for. And so this is going to need to be somewhere around the vicinity of about, let's say, here. I think this is a, probably an okay spot for this. So we're going to go ahead and mark that like this. Okay. Now we have a little bit of dirt on the track here. So to, get, to fix that, we're just going to real quick say I want to delete this. And then we'll cancel the construction. There we go. Uh, and then what I want to do, right, is we're going to have the rail comes off of this intersection we need it to be the right direction so this is a this is going this direction we want you to go out like this and hook up there and then you are heading in this direction and so we're gonna have this one come off of if i can do it maybe I, maybe i come from this side instead oh i don't have f4 on that's probably why there we go Okay, now real quick on the signals here. We got we got to measure this out. It has to it has to fit. So we want from here out to here. There's my signal. Ground distance 160. Perfect. All right, that's what we're looking for. And then on this side, we do the same thing. We bring you out this way. And we can probably hug the rail, but I'm thinking probably just doing that is good enough. I'm pretty sure that's going to be long enough to get us in and out of here. No problems. So let's make sure that we hook you up. Ah, it doesn't want to stay right alongside it. But you know what? At least it fits. Yeah, it, I guess it works. All right. And let's just to make sure that we did it, just to say we did it, we'll measure this out. 150 from here to uh, there. Easy. That's like I got 190 until I get there. So that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, what I want to do... Hey, my coal train. Nice. Yeah, because you don't have any coal. I mean, you don't have any iron either because this is full of sewage and we're just waiting for the sewage stuff to get done. So um, what I want to do here, assuming I can make it fit, is I would very much like to do this and get that to fit in right here. Now, I'm certain I can get that to fit like that. And you see, that would normally connect and it would normally allow me to do this. But that little whoop in the road is preventing me from doing it. So we're just going to gut that. We're just going to get rid of that. We're going to say from here to... Let's do it from... Let's do it all the way. I, I think I can probably go a little bit better of an angle here. Uh, the demolition office, I made it, but I never bought the vehicles. So for the vehicles, we're going to want to have at least one of these excavators. We're going to want to have two waste trucks, probably. So we have this in place, which is brilliant. And with the spacing I have allowed, double checking road, actually. Double checking the road. So this is where my road comes out. You can always arc it that way too. So just for the sake of demonstration or for example, we're gonna go that way and then see if 
this will still fit. You should be able to get in right there. And you won't interfere with that road. It's like a glove, I'm telling you. It's going to work. Just got to get that little whoop on the road out of there. But you might remember, we don't have direct access to steel for the electrical components we're going to be making. So the other part of what this train station is going to do is it's just going to allow us to deliver steel here. And um, I want to take up as little space in this direction as possible, right? I, I need to make sure I'm really not like sticking out here because there's a lot of buildings and stuff that need to be here. So we're going to just put in one of these. We'll flip this over so that the road connection does not interfere. And we want to also make sure that the factory connection coming off of this is straight or angled to the left. Because if I was to do something like this, then I won't be able to use that far right factory connection. It will be in the way. So it needs to be out of the way. See how it's snapping to be a straight line? That's important for this. There's little things like that you got to pay attention to sometimes. Uh, so I'm going to go in about like that and just verify that this will work. Yep, it comes out just fine. Not blocked. Uh, and so that is going to be where we have our steel deliveries, at least for now. Okay, so we'll just connect that to the road so the construction crews can do it. Checking in really quick on this. I haven't had this in like really fast speed, so I may need to let it run for a little bit. But we are getting, you know, we're getting okay progress on this stuff. Uh, what we really need is this done. And I probably should shift that to high priority, actually, because we, we need this done. Because this is going to turn this building and this building back on. It's going to turn all this stuff back on uh, because then we get sewage coverage, right? So it's got to happen. We got to get this done. And then you go in like, ooh, like so. There we go. That gives me power into all that stuff. And then over here, we need power too bring this line over we're gonna do the big the big boy lines on all these things because there's a lot of power being drawn from here and we want to just make sure that we are providing enough power all the time so i'm j it's not that much extra money so i'm just gonna do it all right that gives me all the electrical connections so i've covered water sewer heat garbage uh power right that was everything yeah and then and then labor is already covered too with the trains that are already rolling in and just not fully unloading people because there's not enough places to work yet because it's not all switched on right so everything just needs switched on but we have everything in place to make it happen so now i just need to let it run for a little while and they're demoing the roads and everything so hey here's one of those time lapses you guys like so much here we go Okay, so had some time pass. 
people had a chance to do what they're doing okay and uh we've had just enough time for the sewage system to finally be done so the sewage systems pipes and stuff are all laid in and that means we have outflow here and uh we don't have to deal with that anymore now the waste issue still an issue i've opted to postpone fixing it for the time being until we can get all these roads done so i'm making asphalt roads through here uh so that i can just be done with it you might have saw it i don't know if i included it in the time lapse or not but you might have saw that uh i had to kind of read had to juggle these roads around a little bit because trucks were coming in here but i did manage to get my heliport construction in here and this little factory connection uh hooked up and ready to rock so we have that done uh it's all good this has a road connection to here for now but um i'm not sure if it'll stay like that and then potential issue here honestly um we have this road connection right there but that's obviously going to be in the way so i need to get this hooked up to here unless i don't care about the fire problem and you know i kind of don't we're gonna have a fire department in here with a helicopter we're gonna have plenty of hel fire helicopters and to have a cargo station catch on fire is not that big of a deal honestly so i might just let this go and have it not be connected to the road and not care because as long as we can get trains in here uh to do the stuff then it's fine uh but i can't connect it to here because it's too close to the rail it doesn't let me do it now i could get around that of course by just deleting the rail here hooking up the road and then relaying the rail because you can actually lay the rail closer to an intersection than you can lay roads not sure why they chose to do it that way it's again <laughs> this developer and his road tools i don't like them i wish i could do things a little more flexible but that's just the way they are so assuming we've got all this stuff taken care of now and the helicopters are still working on it uh assuming we can get trash sorted to start off we're just gonna have mixed waste be collected you can see that this is almost full okay we're just gonna have mixed waste be collected here um let me see if we have okay this is done cool so technical service is done that's pretty good uh water you're gonna get it from here although i doubt you'll ever have to we don't actually have a sewage drop off for this for now so we're gonna leave it alone if i get one then i get one uh we don't actually have much for anything else but what i do want is for mixed waste to go here so i need this to be done before i can do this and then to start off what we're gonna do is just have everything be mixed waste and that's it no sorting in here everything is mixed waste and we're gonna dump it in here and the train is gonna just load up on mixed waste and send it out now, eventually that's going to get a little overwhelming for the train i feel so we're also going to have over on this side we're going to have trains picking up certain types of cargo so for example we'll have one for construction waste and we'll have one for biological waste at least those two and then we can have extra train uh you know interactions over in this area to pick up those two things uh, and that's going to separate quite a bit i don't exactly know what kinds of waste these buildings are going to generate because I've never worked with them with the waste system before. Looks like construction waste and metal scrap are two main things. That makes sense. Metal scrap, I assume, would be something that the steel mill would have. So we may need to separate that as well. Uh, so eventually we'll get many different trains coming out this way. On that note, it's likely a good idea. Because this area will generate a lot of waste. It is likely a good idea to set up over on this side another train distribution office and i was thinking about having it right here i'm not sure yet is considering doing this because it allows it to go on this track really quickly to do what it needs to do or this track really quickly to do what it needs to do uh, or just to get on this track really quickly and off you go um maybe it would be better to put it on this side you know it could be um remember trains or originate here so you don't need a whole lot of clearance uh, you just need their intersections uh, to kind of match up with other intersections so like for example over here i don't have a whole lot of room for this but that's okay with me because they're spawning here and they just get into the intersection and go i could actually i've been looking at this i mean i could generate a train out this way and bring it all the way across this and hook it up into this and have it go the other direction that option is there I had to move a power pole or something for that one but that that option is there so i'm not opposed to that necessarily if there's a benefit to it uh which at the moment would just be like a train not having to go through this so if this intersection gets really busy then i can just have it 
go this way if it needs to go that way. Right? You can also put a tunnel in. Tunnel. <laughs> uh, but either way, it, there's a there's another rail construction office planned for over here because there's a lot of goods that are going to be over here. And there is no reason for us to have this train originate from here, come all the way over here to pick up the supply, and then bring it all the way back over there. That makes no sense. So we would just spawn a train here, pick up the supply, and bring it over there. Right? That makes more sense. Uh, but this rail construction office, I think, is more likely to be electrified for trains. So I do want to electrify the rail lines before we really start getting into that so much. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just something. And, you know, maybe we could even have it over here. I could say that the rail construction office maybe spawns over on this side and it just doesn't. There's a lot of room for this. I've left room for that possibility. So, so as soon as this dump is done, we could start you know, having this uh, technical service office go and deal with that. So we're going to have a bunch of trucks here. Uh, we're going to say that we want, uh, I think maybe we don't need a sewage cistern. There's a possibility that in the future, we might build something that needs some sort of waste disposal that's not here yet. So maybe we can get one big sewage truck to just sit here and do nothing. Otherwise, I think we can maybe make that happen for now. Uh, but Pretty much everything else over on this side is going to be a waste truck. We're going to get a couple of them that are for the small ones because there are going to be a couple of small container trucks that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, so we'll go in and make this be like an orange. We'll say let's say one or two of those. No big deal. And then we're looking at the big containers. The big container platforms are always going to be six and a half tons because that's the size of the large container. Um, I just don't... I'd never seen it be anything else. So the real difference is travel speed. And uh, this one here is going to go 80 kilometers, where the other ones go slower. So clearly, there's an advantage to going faster. And we're going to have the orange ones. One, two, three, four, five for now. And that will actually be everything. I think that's actually all vehicles. So five of the big ones, two of the small ones, and a sewage truck just in case. Okay. And if anything doesn't have water, uh, we can always, you know, take one of the sewage, one of the garbage trucks away and bring it to another office or put it in the demo office or something right and then that's no big deal uh okay so once they're done with these roads it'd be really nice to see these are obviously all asphalt roads so they have to come from great distances to get these done helicopters have been pretty much taking care of them for now uh but we have to come from great distances to get these done because we don't have a method or a means of getting asphalt over here uh but the next thing to really do in this area is to figure out where my other stuff is going to be and I love how that path is lit up all the way to coal. That's super cool. I got to get more walking paths with lights. Like, look at all this, right? This walking path with lights is awesome, right? Look at those. They're super cool. I've got to have more of these be repaved with the lights, right? I mean, you got it. We got to do it. There's so much potential there. Yeah, I know it's going to use a lot more power, but uh, I feel like I got to do it, man. Lit up streets. They look really good. Anyway, uh, so over here, take a quick look at what we're going to be doing in our future. I don't exactly know where they're going to be yet, but I kind of have an idea. Remember how I said we needed direct access for steel for the electrical uh, components, right? It takes 1.9 tons of steel. Well, the electronics production doesn't need steel. So electronics could be created right over here, and we need some of these buildings to be fairly close to this train but it's very likely we will need another train station to drop people off for these jobs here very likely indeed and so i've opted for that to be a possibility just by bringing i'm going to do this really quick to get that out of the way uh oh this is not good yeah that's gonna bring it too far back isn't it uh well nope it'll work okay I mean, I can always, I can do this anytime I want, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. This is fine. Let's just get rid of this for now, then we don't need it. Okay. So, eventually, there will be a bridge that goes from somewhere over here and comes in and lands in here, okay? It's just a matter of where that's going to be, which is entirely dependent on where the buildings are going to be. So, electronics assembly requires 1.9 tons of electrical components, 1.9 tons of mechanical components, and 2.8 tons of plastic. That's a lot of plastic, which is why it's going to be shipped in uh, right over here into this warehouse, okay? And the plastic is all this stuff is going to be forklifted around, okay? 
eventually i think we're gonna end up having some vehicle production going possibly some train production going their vehicles are making our own trains right gonna happen over here uh which we then end up shipping those trains to the border that's a long distance but if we want to sell them to nato we'll end up going this way and out to nato too so that's possible as well um again we're very far away from actually getting access to nato which will most likely happen here and this is the this is the plan it's just not done yet is that we're gonna have a port here right vehicles we're gonna have some sort of way of shipping these vehicles out of here and i just don't know where they're gonna be yet because this river needs to be expanded i need to do some excavation here to open this river up enough to where i can get like these things to be in here and if that's the case and that's, that's what this extra rail right here is for if that's the case um it doesn't have to be like here it can be over here and just you know zigzag in uh then we can take and make our cars and ship them out to nato or ship them that way to uh you know the eastern block um and we can we can do that and sell them to both sides and then also create trains and ship them with boats that was the idea but we have the whole rail network to work with so if we make cars we can ship them on trains to the border we make trains we can carry them on the on the train tracks to the border too it's all connected so it allows us to do anything we want later okay let's go back to the math because i keep getting distracted electronics requires nearly two tons of electrical components and mechanical components the mechanical components assembly hall is going to be producing 15 tons at maximum and that's 150 workers okay it's a lot of workers each one of these buildings takes 150 workers okay so there's a lot of people that need to be in here a lot of trains coming through this area and uh for that reason it, it's very likely that we'll end up having two sets of tracks here just to keep these trains somewhat separated we'll probably do that right here to keep this intersection the same so what i'm thinking will probably happen is we're gonna have another set of tracks that will deviate here and then whip in and uh drop people off in the center of this madness okay we'll have things over on this side things over on this side and uh everything's gonna be kind of connected in that way okay probably right here so that i can have a warehouse connection on the opposite side of the tracks and uh if we do this correctly we should be able to have everything connected to the uh forklift network while also allowing the trains to deliver people at the same time we should be able to do that um there's enough space here to make that happen uh so with electronics that's 1.9 tons of electrical components the electrical components factory is only going to produce three so we're going to want about three of these i think three of these makes nine tons but it also means you know 450 workers but it's going to make nine tons and uh we'll consume four of them in this area which leaves a great deal of them available for expansions to other areas usefulness in repairing things and expanding and of course electrifying our rail line right we're gonna need a lot of those things so i'm thinking this area needs at least three of these buildings and these buildings need direct access to steel they're also fairly large and they have road connections and stuff that we have to consider as well that's why there's going to be a road connection in here somewhere we're going to make it come through the middle it's going to drop down tag up a little bit get access to these buildings and then pick back up with a bridge and we have again forklifts going all the way through this um now i'm not again i haven't really solidified my design for this yet but i do think that the electrical components most likely need to be created on this side because of the direct access to steel requirement we don't have, want to haul the steel super far away and they aren't gonna they're not gonna need much steel right it's just two tons for each of them per day so six tons of steel it's incredibly easy for even a single truck to pick up the steel from here and just bring it over here but it's also something where a single truck could just be making its rounds up the bridge and deliver deliver it directly and we wouldn't even need this segment here so it's possible that i won't even use this but i'm gonna put it in here anyway it's very cheap to just get rid of later if we if it's in the way um and also remember that if we're gonna be making cars here they're gonna need direct access to steel making trains definitely gonna need direct access to steel um and then the steel also could potentially be used in ship building as well so there's a lot of stuff that's gonna be happening over here and it's gonna take many 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 videos to actually have this realized okay so this is the dump it's done got the rail 
uh still left to build here but that's fine uh the track builder over here was tying up traffic for a long time over here uh it was holding up everything so we probably have a lot of passenger trains here that won't have anybody for a while that's gonna take a bit but now that we have this dump done what we can do tell it to store mixed waste and we're gonna tell these guys to send their mixed waste to here and that's gonna kick them into gear they're gonna go out and look for things and i could probably tell them to do a 3000 meter radius but i think the 2000 is good enough we can see it, it reaches pretty much everything at 2000 so that's what i want i want you to do 2000 uh do you go over this way too you do but there's not really anything over there so this is perfect actually 2000 is exactly what we want for these garbage trucks so they're gonna leave we're gonna go off and do things and we should now see that we are generating steel we should hopefully be making steel now got a thousand tons of coal in here there's a whole bunch of people coming to work in steel and just like that man look at it all just come right on in from both sides perfect that's what we're looking for right there so we got that kind of done uh, they've also built this now too so this can start collecting mixed waste as well as it currently is uh for the fire department we now need vehicles over here and there's space for two vehicles one truck one helicopter is what we're looking for here now, i could go in and buy one of these but i'd rather look for a used one <laughs> so let's go over here to see if there's any used ones we might be able to uh grab yeah, see this is okay the, the water bucket's pretty good 4700 here which is pretty good if we take a look at a brand new helicopter uh we look at like the ma10 right it's pretty much the same 4700 right it's pretty much the same and the reason i've been buying the cargo ones for the fires and stuff is it's because it has a big fire bucket but it's also so that i can start shifting it uh these two construction offices and stuff later and so what we're really looking for is the fire bucket capacity that's the most important thing so let's take a look really quick look at the uh the used ones here that we saw so this one has a 57 percent wear and tear and it's 23 years old that's why it's so cheap Ugh. that's gonna be a bitch <laughs> i don't really want to deal with that uh we at there at bare minimum we need a truck over here though so let's just buy the truck first uh for the, as many people are gonna be in the area we could probably get quite a few firefighters in here so let's look for something around the 20 or so range i think for speed this one looks okay 23 or so uh faster speed would be nice and there's no reason to go cheap here so i'm thinking probably this one here is probably okay or 87 kilometers an hour max speed should be good on the asphalt roads we'll eventually have uh and then up to 26 people uh for the speed there is good so we're gonna buy one of these just to get that moving and as far as the fuel supply goes we actually don't have distribution uh over here what we have instead is this so this tiny little cistern is what's been taking uh stuff from here and bringing it into this so what i think i'm gonna do is just amend this it's also bringing gas into the construction office too but i think what i'm gonna have you do is after you've unloaded in both of these places okay you're going to then reload fuel once more and we could just have you do it from here because i don't know what we're doing otherwise but it's fine this is almost the same speed uh we're gonna load fuel from here again wait until loaded one more time then you're gonna come over here you don't have to do that uh, and then you're gonna come over here and i want you to do it to the police station too but for now we're just gonna have you head to the um you don't need to wait till unloaded either have you head to the uh fire department uh fire station over here and unload fuel there and then you'll go back to doing your normal route this is going to ensure that we always have fuel right here for the fire trucks so they don't have to go off and do anything else there's no reason to have a fuel station in here as long as the origin points of these vehicles uh have fuel so the police station is next so that we can start managing the crime that's spawning over here because there actually is quite a bit let's go to the overlays and we want to see crime there are two crimes not reported uh, not patrolled over here and um, i anticipate many many more are going to happen until i get a police department over here and remember the police department just needs to get here in time and then the case gets investigated by anywhere else uh it gets investigated by uh hello what are you doing get out of here oh you right you're building this track which is nice except you can't turn around not until you get this part done once you get this done you'll be able to turn around 
uh, provided of course you can make this track too so really this should be a priority and then also this whole thing should be a priority really because that, that way we can get back yeah this whole track is a single project so we'll say that this is also a high priority once you get to it okay all right so i think i've done almost everything i need to do here i mean the track builders and stuff of course we're slowing things down they're working their way over towards this tunnel that we're gonna have uh and i, I think i have probably what it takes here to start lowering terrain again here to start building this canal out where we want to do it right it's gonna take a very long time to do this because i don't have a whole lot of excavators but now that we've completed most of the construction in here you know i could start working on this and like in the off hours and stuff too we're up to 11.2 million rubles which feels pretty good to say i got i just got to point it out to have 11 and a half million and still going up feels really nice doesn't it and then uh you need to make sure that that gets created too which i'm not entirely sure which department will do that but it looks like it is at least on the list and then we need another helicopter construction office with all this money we right we should probably have another one so i was thinking of putting one right over here because then it can access this stuff really quickly so why don't we go over to construction offices helicopter construction office and uh now that we have a pretty good idea of where everything is located i should be able to have really no issues putting this in here um I don't think so anyway it kind of comes down to like whether or not i want the fuel to be fed directly in this it is not that big of a deal for a helicopter to have to fly a little bit further to go get their supply right so if i can deal with not having a truck on this like if i, if I put it right over here for example and then i just feed the fuel directly in that would be pretty cool i think that would be all right but you do need a pump to do that remember pump is required for that uh, so we're going to have to come over and just maybe place it right here. Now, one thing I do want to check before I start placing this particular building, right? As I'm leaving spaces, you might notice this, maybe not, but we're leaving spaces. There are gaps in here. Maybe not as big as I would have liked because of the power poles, but there are at least some gaps in here. And now those gaps are designed to allow me to use these conveyor engines in the future, right? So I can move these through. Why would I need to do that? Well... Because the supply look at all this stuff in the map looks so cool uh the supply of iron is right over here too right we have another supply of iron right here right and there's a supply of coal right here too so if we need more coal or more iron it's located right here so we may need it in the future right look there's some coal right there i want at least to have the option leave it open don't want to get in the way uh, and then for iron, it is located a little bit more over this way. That's a pretty far away, but it, the very engines could potentially haul that over here. So I just don't want to get in the way of that. Uh, why don't we put... So the out is here. We want this out to go to a pump right behind this. So I, I'm thinking we're going to go ahead and do this. Let's put an underground pumping station. And we'll say that the underground pumping station goes in about like this. This should look pretty clean, honestly. I do it like that. And then we have this go uh, through like that. That's fine. And then the pipe underneath should be able to go from here to here without any issues. There it goes under the ground. Uh, and then from there to the helicopter construction office that we place uh, kind of anywhere. But we're going to say maybe it goes right here, right up next to this. I do believe we need to leave some space above ground for this um, pipe to connect because I don't believe it connects underground. It's an above ground connection, I, be I believe. So we are going to want to leave a little bit of space for that. And I just can't quite get that in here. I don't know if this will... Let, let me see if this will connect. If it doesn't, then we just don't build it, right? But I'm pretty confident that won't connect because that's an above ground connection. Well, let's just see. This goes out and then into there. Oh, good. It, I'm wrong. I love being wrong sometimes. <laughs> there it is. Okay. So helicopter construction office is going to be here. And we will not need trucks to bring fuel and to manage the fuel for this, which is going to feel really good. So we'll have also the helicopters helping with that. We will buy probably another two or three million rubles worth. God, look at this goddamn track builders <laughs> everywhere. Um, they'll finish their projects. I just have to suck it up. Uh, this will be much faster again when we go to electrify things it will be much faster you're taking steel 32 tons of steel is being brought from over here and uh it's gonna go this way it's gonna be feel pretty good 
I'm going to get you out of the way for a second. <laughs> nah, I should just let you finish the job. He's just going to keep coming back. So whatever. There's a temporary disruption over here. It's not that big of a deal. Just have like all these trains waiting a long, long time. <laughs> uh, the last thing I'm going to cover in this video, and then we're going to call it quits, is I have started the design process at least for this area and i've started with the electronics uh production these are the things that people consume right the televisions the radios etc um and they are going to be two buildings right next to each other and uh the interesting part, part about these right is that the inputs for these okay the inputs for these are electrical components mechanical components and plastics well funny thing about those they all go in a warehouse so there's no point in having the the forklift garage is all connected to both of these buildings you just need them connected to a warehouse so i have a warehouse here it has sufficient size to hold a whole bunch of stuff and uh this warehouse is going to have a road that comes out this way okay and then this road will curve this way and then come up like that and then this one will connect like that and like that okay good done everything's fine as far as the waste for this though that's another question entirely um because we need industrial waste to collect here so this, I may need to scoot it back a little bit, you know, it's, it's a tentative design for now. Um, but I, I'm going to make sure I can do waste and stuff before we really get too far into that. But that is the tentative design for now. These two are right next to each other, hooking into a warehouse. And then the warehouse is what is going to be hooked up to the forklifts and stuff, uh, through here. Um, and then the electronics, uh, sorry, electrical components production will be off on, uh, off on this side near where the steel can come in. Uh, but we can also, of course, just bring it in with a truck uh, as well. And then because of all of that being done, I believe my road probably comes off of this, which makes a lot of sense. And uh, it'll come off of this right here. And then we will lift it up from this point into a bridge. Uh, it goes uh, one, two, three high. Uh, it can be out that way. That's fine. And then it's going to curve around this way probably and then it will end up most likely tagging up somewhere maybe like in this area it'll tag up on the ground roundabout and then back up and that's going to allow us to get vehicles in here to interact with all the buildings for waste and all that stuff too uh but the forklift garages and stuff uh will be in the center and they'll all spawn and, and move around I'm, uh, I'm working on that. So all this stuff is kind of tentative. The exact positions of things are not yet known. Uh, but I did want to just share with you the fact that this thing has all of its inputs are warehouse based. We don't need the forklifts to interact with them at all. We just need them to interact with the warehouse and bring all the inputs to here and bring out the exports uh, out somewhere else to where with the electrical components, this is taking warehouse stuff, but then also the steel. Right. which again we could just bring in directly with a truck it's uh it's only going to be six tons of steel collectively with our three buildings a single truck could make that route no problem so uh it's very likely that we will uh most likely just have this be connected to the roads only there and uh put them put the buildings like this but we will still need vehicle production and stuff to happen in this area too so there's probably merit to having this just for extra storage and being able to get the forklifts involved for later okay so there's the mixed waste. It is uh, filling up already. And I think it's time to get our train, uh, our waste train to uh, test it out. Will it, will it work, right? We've got this completely empty right now. This is all done. And what I'm going to do here tentatively, just to see if it helps at all, I'm not sure it will. Uh, but what we're going to do here is I'm going to place a transfer instead. Now I have already moved and it looks like they have finished construction on this. So that's good. Uh, I mean, I prioritized it and you're right in the heart of all construction. So it should be pretty quick. Um, I've moved the substation in a little bit. So it's closer to this area. And then I've also redone this electrical line so that it does not interfere at all with this factory connection. Um, so we can get access to that really quickly now. So what I'm going to do, uh, just to allow me to experiment, right? I needed this stuff out of the way. So I have options. Uh, I'm going to first, let's see if we have space for this. I don't know if we do or not. It looks like we do, all right? Yeah, we totally have space for that, which is great, but like there's no space for the rail. Because this is only good if the rail is, you know, going to work, right? Uh, what I want to see is if the transfer station is going to be a good option for here, right? 
does this help trucks load really quickly and get out of here right and if so then great we'll just have transfer stations through here we can do something like this which connects to both sides maybe that will work i don't even know if trains can interact with that right i don't know that so what we're going to do for now is i'm going to add this here we're going to have this start construction all right and you're going to see the results of this in the next episode it's not going to be something that you can see now uh but uh we'll start doing that let's get all the labor and stuff on that and then the waste train what you are going to do is instead of stopping here right now what i'm going to have you do is come all the way over here and you're going to load up there instead okay so we're going to actually delete your line kind of um this you're going to unload you're going to unload mixed waste all right wait till unloaded that's fine uh and then you're going to come over to the industrial art and lo load mixed waste wait till loaded i'm good with that and uh so we're going to see if that changes anything at all because uh and of course this train's going to be confused now because it's on the wrong path why don't you just go around the other way you totally can that was the whole point hold on hold on hold on a minute how are you confused you go this way all right you go this way uh-huh yep still still good uh-huh you end up going through here yep uh-huh and then you're on this side okay then you go that way you can definitely get there i don't know what you're doing i don't think you have the foggiest idea all right let's try this instead we're gonna add this as a stop because we know it can get there we'll tell it to go to this instead all right so turn around and do this instead and then once you're you know oh now you're gonna go that way because that makes total sense you jerk <laughs> uh we'll send it to the industrial yard now it's confused again there must be s oh you know what it is oh you dumbass <laughs> it's not there uh, the rail isn't built yet okay <laughs> so i need that done <laughs> okay i'm gonna leave it here then because that's not gonna be done for quite a while we're gonna tell this thing that it needs to uh maybe not prioritize these tracks i think maybe we don't do these tracks for now let's just send you back home okay i want you to do these ones instead these are the priority tracks for you to do all right so we'll go ahead and grab this building here again and uh we're gonna hit the one key on our keyboard and we're gonna select them and make sure that you're doing these instead okay get these done uh and then i can uh get a train in here to unload this because it's gonna be pretty full you can see there's a lot of construction waste in here and stuff too but that's what the waste processing center is for all these places can just dump mixed waste and the trains can get them and bring them to where they need to go to get processed in that facility when needed that's what that is for in the meantime this train is just gonna stay really confused <laughs> i think i'm just gonna stop it and just have it sit there because it's not doing anything anyway so you get to just sit there and do nothing okay that's it that's your that's your gig now congratulations on that I will see all of you guys next time. This has been a wonderful episode. I think we've made some pretty good progress today. Um, and I, I just need to play around with how this is going to be designed. Uh, but with the waste system kind of sorted, I could go ahead and turn this back on. As long as we have a fire truck in here and it says there's firefighters needed. Can you not get there? You totally can. So I think it's just a matter of the trains. That's what it really is. The trains... And the track builders, right? They've been in the way. They're disrupting the flow of traffic. That's always what track builders do. Uh, and uh, because of that, the the people are not being brought in here, right? That's my issue right now. So I'm going to have to wait on that a little bit longer. But when we come back for the next one, we should be able to put things in place here to at least, at the very least, we'll have mechanical components being built. And helicopters will have access to them. And then uh, what I'm hoping happens is that one of these get done. Actually, this one should be set, set to the higher priority so that we can get this done and then this done uh, because they can access all of this now. So what I'm hoping to see is that these things get completed uh, and then says there's no path here. Did I not connect it to the road? I don't think I have because, yeah, because this was being paved in asphalt. So now we can. So then we can get helicopter construction office 
not only can we get a second one which is being worked on already which is nice uh but we can also get it connected to steel which is super important since that has been uh kind of holding us up for quite a while okay so that's it guys thanks so much for watching i appreciate you i'm gonna let things build here and hopefully i can get to this before it fills up and even if i don't it's fine we got plenty of storage over here okay take it easy we'll see ya bye bye